Ages was a time of history that is remembered for the luxurious nights and gigantic castles, which were a big part of warfare. If you haven't been sleeping in class, you will know that knights swore oaths to the king and were summoned in times of war. It was a privilege to be a knight, and being a knight wasn't easy. You had to train, fight, and fight, pretty much. If knights fought every day and every night, then how did they train? What weapons did they use? Well, you'll have to watch this through to find out. Okay, you can shut the camera on now. Oh yeah, okay, so um, we know that knights trained and fought because I just said it before. No, I didn't say it, but Emerson did, okay. Um, then how did they fight? Did they use their hands or did they use grenades and lightsabers? There are always the right weapons for the right ages. To simply start, let's look at the swords. The weapons varied from the smallest broad sword to the longest great swords. These weapons were heavy but deadly effective. The types of swords were broad swords, falchion swords, great swords, and long swords. Firstly, the broadsword is a sword with two sharp cutting edges. The length of the broadsword ranged from 30 to 45 inches and it was used to cut and slice rather than stabbing. It was considered a cutting type weapon and it was very greatly used to cut and kill people. Of course, broadswords wasn't the only sword that was used by knights in the Middle Ages. A sword that was a little longer than the broadsword, called the falcon sword, were used by knights. Falcon swords were short, heavy, single edged that were mass produced by blacksmiths back then. The falcon sword looked awfully awesome, but it was considered a low quality sword. The length of the falcon sword ranged from 37 to 40 inches, and it was considered a cutting type weapon. We are talking about swords. We cannot leave the great sword out. Great swords were two handed massive swords with broad blades with two lethal cutting edges. This two to three inch wide, 50 to 72 inch, plus 18 to 21 inch handle length long monster sword was capable of striking a massive blow. It was considered a cutting weapon. That leads us to the long sword. The long sword is also known as the bastard sword. And in later times, it's a hand and a half sword. The name long sword was given because of its long handle and longer blade. The long sword became popular due to its, its extreme reach and cutting and thrusting abilities. Long sword was a two-edged sword with long handle, long enough for two hands, 40 to 48 plus 10 to 15 inches long. Long swords could strike a massive blow. For the knights to practice their sword training, they were assigned to go to places called the Pell. Sword training included thrusting, cutting, and slicing without imposing an injury on his opponent. Weapons other than swords were lances, which were 9 to 14 feet long, spear kind weapon made of wood and ash with metal tip made of iron steel. This, this lengthy weapon was far too unwieldy to use in close combat. Bat. Shields were developed to shield or protect a knight or soldier from the direct blows from the weapon of their enemies. Okay, since knights weren't the only ones in battle, there were foot soldiers who were supporting the knights. The weapons they used were mostly low-class weapons. The weapons were pole arms, battle axes, maces, flail, halberd, longbows, bows, cross... Pole arms consisted of razor-sharp blades mounted on a wooden shaft or pole, which was between 4 and 14 feet long. Soldiers were trained in various maneuvers to strike, swing, and cleave and poke their enemies. A similar kind of weapon known as the halberd was a broad, short axe blade on a 6-foot pole with a spear point at the top. Battle axes were designed as a single and double-handed ba battle axes that could be used as a close combat weapon or could be hurled as a missile. This one foot to five foot weapon was considered bludgeoning and cutting weapon. The longbow ranged considerably in size from six to seven feet in length and could pierce the armor of a knight at ranges of more than 250 yards. Different kinds of arrows were used in different kinds of situations. Long bodkins were point arrows used for piercing mail. Arrows called short bodkins were used for piercing armor plates. Arrows called swallowtails were used to bring down horses. Some other kinds of weapons are known as bows and crossbows. Of course, there were other weapons such as a bill hook, pole axe, quarter staff, spears, war hammer, collectrops, pike, and batons. These weapons were effectively used to take out enemies. The Middle Age is not only famous for knights, but also famous for its gigantic castles. 
The massive and deadly siege weapons of the Middle Ages included four types, and the types were ballistas, the mangonels, the battering rams, and the trebuchets. The ballista was similar to a giant crossbow and was designed to aim huge wooden ironclad darts or arrows which were powered by twisting skeins of rope, hair, or sinew. The force of the missiles launched from ballista was designed to have great penetration and were capable of skewering several of the enemy at once. One of the siege weapons used during the Middle Ages was the mangonel. This was similar to a catapult, which fired heavy projectiles from a bowl-shaped bucket at the end of its arm. The mangonel was not as accurate as the ballista, but it was able to throw missiles further than trebuchet stones. It fired sharp wooden poles and darts. Fire, cast of burning tar, burning sand, this became trapped inside armor. Pots of Greek fire, dung, dense, sometimes mutilated bodies, disease-ridden bodies, body parts, dead animals, any rotting matter, and quick lime. Battering rams, the most famous of the siege weapons of the Middle Ages, were also associated with Viking raids. Battering ram was used literally to batter, pound, punch, and shake down gates, doors, and walls of medieval castles, fortresses, and towns. The design of the battering ram could also serve as a bridge across a defense of moat or ditch. The trebuchet was an invaluable medieval siege attack weapon, similar to a catapult, which was used for hurling heavy stones to smash castle or city walls. It fired sharp wooden poles and darts, fire, casket, burning tar, burning sand. This is pretty much the same thing as um, the one that Quentin was saying, talk, talking about, yeah. So, like, all the things that mangonels shot out. The weapons used in medieval ages are truly astonishing, and you, duh, better check this site out. Um, all the information of this weapon video were from this site, and also you will be able to find out the things that I didn't mention in this video. And the site is http thingy slash slash www.middleages.org dot uk um slash and whatever you want to say yeah anyways you have to check this site out or not i don't care so bye this lengthy weapon was far too unwieldy to use in close combat bat, but could uh, 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 the length of the broadsword ranged from 30 to 45 inches it when you used to cut and was used to cut and slice rather than stabbing <laughs> Alistus, the mangonel. Alistus, the mangonels. The mangonel was similar to a catapult, which fired heavy. Weapons other than swords were lance, which were 9 to 14 feet long, spear kind like 